Okay, here we go. All right, so for the rose, this is a one stroke rose. Uh, I kind of penciled out what I liked on here. Um, I've got, got like a big rose I want to do here. I just did like a little pencil shape. Get closer to see if you can see that. See the little pencil marks. I'm going to do three leaves and I wanted them in a triangle. That's kind of, you know, how the traditional way to set up uh, designs is to, you know, do it a triangle. It's pleasing to the eye. So, you know, your big elements, you probably want to do the, uh, the triangle. So I have three big leaves. One, two, three. Then I'm going to put a rosebud here, rosebud here, I think. And um, so one, two, three. Uh, and then we'll do some smaller leaves. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and get started. My colors, I went, I told you guys yesterday I was going to use magenta, but I pulled a pink melon because I think that'll go pretty with my background. Um, and I just have a plain white. I have a thicket. And this is a Hauser green light. I like that color. And I have some floating medium that you can't see in here. And a patina. Because I do like to add that into my leaves when I do roses. So I'm going to double load. I have Donna Dewberry's brush, the one stroke, three quarter inch plaid. I'm going to use that to start off with. I have dipped it in water. And then I took a paper towel. And I dried it off. So um, this is a flat brush. I've got a good chisel on it to start off with. So hopefully we'll all be good. So I'm going to load with my pink and my white. Half and half. I'm going to work that in. My white's going to be on the outside, and quite honestly, you know, I just noticed I'm loading more white than pink. I really want more pink than white. I want white tips. So whenever I go back, whenever I leave, I'm going to pick up more paint. I'm going to dip, dip, work it in. Okay, I'm not going to brush off over here. Over here, I'm going to have one lane the whole time because I want to... to continue loading my brush. I want a lot of paint on my brush for this, um, for one strip painting. <clears throat> so, and I'm sorry I've got a little cold. Uh, I was really congested this morning, so I've kind of put this off a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is start my outer petals of my rose. I'm going to go straight up and down. So remember uh, our three P's. If we don't like our strokes, we need to look at our three P's. Is the position of your brush good? Correct. Is the amount of paint on your brush enough or too much? And uh, oh, what's the other one? Paint, position, and paint, position, and <laughs> pressure. <laughs> See, now I can't, I don't know if I can blame this on menopause or the cold or what. I'm just going to blame it on, on it all. So, uh, the, how much pressure? So, a lot of the strokes we put just a little bit of pressure. Sometimes we put a lot of pressure. So, if the stroke doesn't look like right, you know, something you may want to do is adjust your pressure. All right. So, I've got the paint loaded. And I do it so that the... Um, each stroke will have a variation of colors. It'll be dark pink all the way to bright white. That way we don't have to do a base coat, go back and do, um, you know, highlights, go back and do low lights and shading and all that. It's all in one. So I'm going to start off um, on the chisel. And then I'm going to lay my pressure down. And my brush is straight up and down. And I'm just kind of wiggling my brush back and forth and then I'm bringing it to a chisel that's it and we do that over and over so then I'm going to start here my chisel I'm going to put my pressure down bring it in now if you don't like um <clears throat> 
like right now my paint's uh, blending pretty well, but a trick, you know, is to, to chisel, put pressure down and go one, two, three. So if you find that your paint's not blending well, that's a trick you can use to get your paint to blend. Looks like I got ambitious with the size of my rose. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just do it a few times. But that's good because that way you'll be able to see the stroke a lot. So I'm on my chisel, putting pressure. Uh, this is also referred to as mopping. So just like you're mopping with a mop brush or a mop stick in your kitchen. <laughs> you touch, press, and rub it back and forth. All right, so see I have all the individual petals. My outside lines, which, you know, I really want them to be clean and pretty. They look pretty good. So I don't want to go back and touch any of that up. I like how that looks. Um, okay, so I'm going to load again. And I'm going to do another layer. And I'm going to kind of inset it. So I'm going to start in the middle of this petal. Touch. And then go around. Now, so the trick here is you really want that outside to be a bright white so it stands out against the petals behind it. So when you go back and pick up paint, make sure you're getting white and your white stays clean. Touch, push, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Touch, push, wiggle, 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 wiggle. There. So it's kind of joined there. I don't love that stroke. I'm going to go back over it. Just kind of want to show you that if, if you have a stroke you don't like, Go back over it. And one stroke painting, we can do that. One stroke painting is fun. All right, that's the outer part of a rose. Do you see how fast this is going to be? Do you know why we have so much fun painting these roses? Because <laughs> they are fast. All right, so I am going to get a smaller brush. Hopefully I've got one here. Probably something I should have looked at before I sat down. All right, this doesn't have a great chisel. We're going to see how this works. So I'm going to pick up a 12 flat. I'm dipping it in my water. I'm getting all the excess liquid off. And then I'm going to pick up paint, just like I did with the larger brush. I'm going to work it in its lane. I'm going to load it good. I want lots of paint. So we want a lot of paint, but we don't want it gunky. I don't think I have enough pink. Work it in. All right. So right now I'm going to do the rosebud in the middle. So for that, I'm going to touch, put pressure, and go up and bring it back down. Touch. I'm going to do that a couple of times, and I think I need more pink. Touch. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Touch. See how I just made rosebud? That is it. Cool, huh? Now I'm going to come around and I'm going to fill in a few more. Go around. I'm going to do some smaller of these strokes with a smaller brush. This is not a good healthy brush. Let's see what else I have here. I may just stick with that big brush. That's a three quarter. Another 12. Let's see if that will service me any better. That poor little guy, he was not loving it. So I'm going to go over this stroke one more time. That's much better. 
much better. Let me pick up some pink. See how many times I can go over this till I like it. Whoosh. Touch. There. And then touch. Push, 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 push. This one's a little bit better. So the same thing, a little bit smaller strokes with a smaller brush. And then it's about here where we start to do like the comma stroke. So I'm going to start here. I'm touching, I'm putting down pressure, and then I'm going to start to pull around and lift. So this is supposed to be, you know, the, the petals that are coming off the rose. Every time I leave, I go and I load up. So touch, push, touch, push, touch, push. And then just kind of layer it in as you see fit. Now this stroke right here is it does look easy, but it can be hard um, and frustrating. So if you guys need to see that again. Um, you ask me. Let me see if I can do it here on the paper. Touch, push, and I'm kind of pivoting on that inside, and then I'm going to lift up and have my pink. I'm actually doing it backwards because I you won't be able to see the white on the white paper. So pretend that the white is pink and pink is white. <laughs> so I'm touch. So here's my rosebud, touch, pull, touch, pull. And then I just kind of touch here. I, my position, I lean my chisel over and I'm pushing and then I lift. So that, um, that outer edge of my brush is all that's left on the paper and it just kind of brings it in. Okay, <clears throat> so then I'm going to go back to my large brush and I'm just going to do my rosebuds on the outside. So from here I'm going to touch rainbow the stop and touch Pull it down and then I might do a couple of bloop, fun guys there. Same thing here. Touch, push, and then end up on your chisel so you don't have a messy stroke at the end. Now you can pull your canvas around if you need to for this. Um, you'll have to have the skill like this. You can just flip it around and then touch. You know, when you start doing wall murals, you can't do that. But for canvases and you're learning how, definitely pull it around. Okay. Guys, that's our rose. Fun, huh? Fun. All right, so now I'm not going to clean out my brush. Uh, I am going to wipe it off, but I'm not going to clean it because I want some of that color residue to linger onto my leaves. So now, uh, so the dark part on my brush was pink, the light was white. So I'm going to hold it like this, put my dark with my dark green, 
my light with my light green working in. See, I'm going to have that little bit of pink in there. It's pretty, hopefully. All right. So here is Rose. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch with my chisel. And then I'm going to kind of work around the petal, leading with my dark green there. So now that I've done that, I'm going to apply pressure. And I'm going to do the same stroke. Wiggle, 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 wiggle to a point. Do that again to make sure that stroke's pretty. And there, and look, it's got that little bit of pink in there. So pretty. I will even go back and pick up some pink and um, work it in just so I can have that. And then here, it'll be like, I'll work here, work around, leading with that dark green, just kind of outlining it there, here, and then I'm going to put pressure, 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 leading with the dark green, coming to the stem. Not a beautiful stroke, so I'm going to actually turn it around so it's easier for me. Sometimes I find that when I pull it toward me, it's easier. There, I like that. On the stem. Yay! All right, so let's put in this. Uh, so we'll put one about right here. So I'm going to take this. I'm leading around the petals. And stroke, 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 stroke. Ooh, that came out pretty. Just going to kind of fill in that hole. And then we'll start here. I want to work around that petal. Stroke, 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 stroke. And that was not as pretty. <laughs> I didn't end it as pretty. Do this. So now I'm going to have to make the other side meet it better. No problem. And then let's do one down here to make a trio. So we're going to feed ourselves around this petal. And then come on this side. That was not a pretty ending. I just picked up my brush and whisked it back. And that's what it looks like when you do that. So I need to finish my stroke. Come back here, come to a chisel. Look how much prettier that is. All right. Wait a minute, that's upside down. <laughs> okay. Do -do. All right. There are three leaves. So I'm going to now... I'm going to make a few of the larger one-stroke leaves. So about here, I'm just going to do a touch straight up and down, push and up on the touch, touch, and then let's see, I'll do a few here, one, This is really no rhyme or reason. I just wanted a couple of the larger sized. And then I'm going to fill in. I'm going to get my smaller brush and fill in the rest. <clears throat> I can't remember which brush was the bad brush. Guess I'll figure it out here in a minute. All right, so I'm picking up my greens with my small brush now. And I had pulled, I had pulled patina to work into my green, so I can do it like this. But because my patina matches my background so much, I don't think that's really going to be as effective. So I'm going to stick with the pink. I'm going to keep working in my pink into my green. And how I do that, I pick dark green, light green, work it in. Come over here, pick up a little bit of that pink, work it into my lane. Ooh, 
And then I'm also going to kind of make my calyx. I do that by touching and just kind of running it up over. Um, touch, push, 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 and twist. Just kind of doing that over the edge of my bottom. Uh, of the bottom layer of rose. Do this here. Touch, push, out. Touch, push, out. Picking up more paint. Pulling out more leaves. A lot of pink. I'm going to do just a few more. Right, and then I'm going to run my stems in. Stem, stem, stem. Stem for my rose. Bud. So now I'm going to wipe off my brush. I'm not, I'm not going to wash it. I'm going to add floating medium. And let me do a little bit of green. So all this is is floating medium and green. I'm going to make some uh, little shadow leaves. Just to give it a little bit more dimension for my design. So it'd be more like a hint of a leaf. Leaf. And I'm probably going to do some with uh, the pink melon as well. I like a lot of the greenery with these designs. Now let me pick up, let me do some pink. It's a pretty leaf. I'm just touching, pushing, and lift. That's it. It's kind of pretty. Happy with that. So now I'm going to take a liner. This is a should be a number two script liner. Put it in water. Not rinsing it off. I'm going straight to my green paint and I'm going to make it inky. I'm probably going to go back to the water two or three times to make a good inky paint. And then I'm going to work it 
twisting it and pulling it to make sure I don't have any goopy goops. And then I'm just going to kind of do some curly cues. See that? So I'm straight up and down with my brush. Very light pressure. Very light pressure. Here's where if you wanted to, you could add in uh, some lines for your leaves. I'm going to do the same thing with water, making my light green inky. And then just kind of pull it out. Could probably have even done it in some white. Sorry, I hit the light. And then I might actually tip into my white a little bit here. Do the same thing. And maybe kind of hit some highlights. I didn't have a stem. I'll make a white stem. Yeah, with these you can actually do like the little sprays too. Coming out if you don't like, you know, if you are not liking, like I don't, don't love how there's a lot of stem work here. I could add some leaves or I could just add some spray. I'm going to do that. That'll look a little bit better. And over here it's the same. You could do it with green. You could add a ribbon if you have a spot you're not loving. Don't be afraid to layer. Even if you like your leaf, you can still layer it a bit. You can also um, take a dark green on your liner and run it up your leaves and just give it a little polished tip. Wanna run that stem in and then come along here. Sometimes that'll give it just a little oomph. Little definition. I did that pretty heavy, so let me go over that. <clears throat> just ideas you don't have to do all this just trying to give you some ideas I am going to pick up some yellow oops that was way too much I'm just tipping my liner in I'm not making it inky I may even go back in with some green. There you go. There's Rose. So I did a lot of extra to it, just showing you different things you can do. But um, you can see that was really pretty simple and easy and fast. The um, petals do take a little time to learn that stroke. So don't get frustrated when you first do it. Um, I've practiced that a long time. And I'm still not, uh, I still don't think it's perfect. I guess we don't ever, I guess we never get totally satisfied. 
Um, but there's so many different roses you can do too. So if you don't like a stroke, say, mm, maybe, maybe I don't want to do a cabbage rose. <laughs> maybe this looks like another type of rose. You know, stay flexible and have fun with your painting. Um, thanks for watching this. Just going to add a little bit. Um, hope you enjoyed this rose painting. Hopefully it inspires you. Uh, you know, it's good time to start practicing on your rose because these make great Mother's Day cards. If you know someone in your life who's a mother that you'd like to bring some joy and blessing to, paint them a homemade card. They love it. Love it. You can sit down in the afternoon and knock out ten of them and not even realize you did it. And uh, it will be a blessing to somebody, I guarantee. All right, guys, the next painting is The Wave. Uh